Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to develop and test Snowplow events in GitLab GDK. There are several tools you can use to develop and test Snowplow events. First of all, you can test backend and frontend events using Snowplow Micro which is a Docker-based solution for individual development on your local laptop. It needs some setup for GDK, which I'm going to show here and link. Secondly, we have some browser extensions for testing Snowplow events in browser Chrome DevTools. They allow you to see Snowplow front-end events and make sure you send the right events to Snowplow collector. And the thirdly, coming soon is a Snowplow mini environment for GitLab, which is going to be a QA testing environment. You are going to point your URL in your local instance to that Snowplow mini environment when it comes. And then you can also test, you will be able to test your local events using Snowplow Mini. So, to start with, Snowplow, you have to install Snowplow Micro on your local test to be able to test backend events. And also frontend events are, are testable. You have to first of all install the Snowplow Micro using a docker run command and then you have to set up your local environment properly you have to go to your local instance admin area in the settings integration snowplow you can enable snowplow tracking by pointing your collector to your local host and then the ugly configuration part is that you have to change your application settings to be able to use port 9090. You have to update the application settings in Postgres database console. You also need to change two files in your GitLab instance, tracking.js and tracking.rb to be able to use your local instance with an insecure non-SSL URL. In the future, I'm sure that will change and things will be easier. And finally, in this presentation, I put some links for you so that you can read about Snowplow Micro. Now let's make a small test run. First of all, what is event tracking? At GitLab context, if you are curious of product usage, in the front end and back end. For example, you want to use your new Zoom integration feature is used or not by people and get some feedback. You can do it by using the Snowplow front end and back end JavaScript and Ruby trackers. The official collector is listed here and the official app ID is GitLab. Snowplow Micro was released in summer 2019. It enables automated test suites and developers to test their own events while developing. How do you run it? You can simply run a docker run command by downloading the docker image for Snowplow Micro and running it on your local host on port 9090. You need some special configuration for your igloo JSON. For GitLab, you need GitLab igloo JSON configuration. When you run this Docker instance, you can access on your local host the Snowplow Micro REST API, which gives you a possibility to see the good and bad events. To make things easier, I have developed a local repository for Snowplow Micro. 
in the config section you have here the configuration for GitLab which includes the GitLab Igloo registry and official Snowplow Analytics registry. What you can do is you can simply come here and clone this repository on your local machine. Git clone. And when you do that, you're going to have your local Snowplow micro. To start Snowplow Micro, simply run the Snowplow Micro SH shell script. This starts the Snowplow REST API on localhost 9090. Let's come here and see. So on local post, host port 9090. We can come here and see all the events, which is currently nothing. Now you can go to your local host. In the local host, you have to go to the You have to log in as root. You have to go to the admin area. And in the admin area, you have to go to the settings. Integrations. Expand the Snowplow section. And you should enter here. Localhost. You see here 9090. This is impossible to put here in the user interface, but I'm going to show how you're going to do this in the database console. Initially, just put your localhost and GitLab and save changes and enable Snowplow tracking. Check this checkbox. After you do that, you come to your Postgres database console and you run, you update the application settings and set Snowplow collector hostname to localhost 9090. Why do we do this? Because currently in the GitLab application settings, we are unable to set port 9090. That's the first step. Second step, we have to go and change two files in our GitLab instance. One is the app assets JavaScript tracking JS. Here we should disable the force secure tracker by just commenting out because we don't have HTTPS on our local Snowplow micro. Similarly, for backend Ruby, we have to go to the libgitlabtracking.rb file and in this file we have to add there protocol HTTP and port 9090, which is our local Snowplow instance. In addition, we have to come here and in our local, local Snowplow options, we have to put here protocol HTTP. You can see the changes here. Again, here. And I also put a link in the presentation to the Snowplow local configuration snippet which I will you can find in the presentation after you do that you go to your local instance and you do GDK restart so that your application settings take effect and when you do that now you can track events and see them in your local Snowplow Micro. So let's come back. One thing worth mentioning here is the Snowplow Chrome extension. If you search for it, you'll see there are two options. Choose the Snowplow Analytics Debugger. Install this Chrome extension to your Chrome DevTools. 
And when you do that, you'll see the Snowplow Analytics debugger in your Chrome extensions. And when you open the dev tools, you'll see the Snowplow Analytics debugger section in the dev tools. So I see there are two events. Let me clear this. Whenever you click on something and if there's an event in the front end, you'll see that an event is logged in the Snowplow Analytics debugger. And when you click on the event, you'll see some details how this Snowplow event is structured. You'll see here a lot of details about the event. This is a structured event in the Snowplow context. Let's edit the status. Good. We have a page ping or page view, which is a standard Snowplow event. This includes parameters like which page we are on. And let's go to our Snowplow micro REST API, which is on our local instance. So when I refresh micro all, I see that we got total 11 events. And I come here and reset all the events, come back and see again. I have zero events. Let's go back, click status again, refresh. I got one good event. Let me go to micro good URL. When I do that, I will see the same event I'm seeing in Chrome dev tools in the Snowplow Analytics debugger. I see it on my Snowplow micro REST API, which is here. Here you'll see a field called CX context, which is important. This is base64 encoded. You can copy it and, and then you can on your local command line, you can base64 decode it. Okay, I got some quotes here. Let me get this again. Okay, I don't need the quotes or B64 decode again. Another problem, let's go back. Let's select the text correctly. B64 decode. Now it works. I shouldn't have any spaces around it. As you can see, there's a JSON data inside I still have an issue but let's just show you the idea now let's go back and show you how the backend events work by the way this is the snowplow micro instance log you can go to your local instance run the rails console and now let's check if we can send backend event store Snowplow micro instance. I'll come here. I will reset the events. I have nothing now. So in the backend, I can use the Rupee API GitLab tracking, send a self-describing event using the page view context igloo schema and I will put here a page type good type with a context nil let's see and when I do that I should have sent an event let's come back here let's carefully choose all events I have one good event and let's type here good here it is and Let's copy this event. Let's come back to our base64 decode. Okay. 
Here it goes. That's the good type page type event which we send. You can decode it and see it here. Let's do another example and let's send a bad event. So now I will see all my events in my Snowplow Micro. I have one good event and I'm going to send a bad event by putting here, let's say, by mistyping the page view context and typing here page view bad. Send it, it goes to my Snowplow Micro. Refresh here, I have a bad event. Now I can see it here. Bad, it's here. What is bad? Error while extracting the schema of the event, could not find schema with page view bad in any repository. You see that I mistyped the URL and it didn't work. So that shows the idea. I will link to the presentation and you can find more links to read about this here. Thank you very much.